Welcome to modeling and texturing a juice carton. Uh, we have here a student design for um, a juice carton. This is what we're going to be modeling today. You will use your own juice label that you've created. Uh, so here is the juice box. We'll turn it here. You can see that it's textured. Even the bottom got the color on it. And we could go even a little further with this, but this is where we're gonna, what we're trying to accomplish today. So we have the carton itself, which is called carton. I've named it, and then we have the lid that I created that was a cylinder that I've also uh, modeled out. So we can turn off wireframe here, and you can see some of the details. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so what we'll do, uh, we'll go ahead and delete uh, this. We're going to delete uh, this cap as well. So the first thing we're going to create and do a box. And I can change the heights and everything later. So I'm just kind of guesstimating the main body of the carton. We go in, have this as edit poly, F4 to turn on my wireframe. I'm going to go to polygon mode, select the top polygon here. So what we need to do is create the top. So I'm going to extrude this top polygon and we'll say the height is probably going to be like so. Oops, deselect here. I'm going to control click these two, top two edges. And actually, let's do the vertices. So I'm just going to select the vertices on the top here. And I'm just going to scale them in just on the this y axis, the direction that I want to go. And I'm going to pull it all the way together to make it this thin piece. There we go. And it's already perfectly centered, so that's awesome. It's just already lined up because I, I did the uniform scale. I'm then going to do a extrude again. And this will get us that top tab. All right, so I'm going to click off. All right, so now I'm going to select this polygon. And we'll turn to the other side and select the other side. And the first thing that we're going to do is to give it an edge. We're going to inset it. Uh, we'll say um, one is fine. We'll just do one. So it, and it insets both sides at the same time. So we've got an inset there. Actually, there's a little bit of some issues here. So I'm going to control Z to undo that. Inset it one more time. I'm going to then. I just want to make sure those two points are spread apart. So point for my specific box, the way I've modeled it, um, I don't know what the exact measurements are for the carton, but here we go, 0. 0.55 seems to be good. I like that. Uh, then we are going to extrude these in. So we're going to take this into the negative. And for this, I'm going to go to wireframe. And I'm going to extrude these in. I'm going to say about there. That looks pretty good at this moment. All right, so th that was F3. So I'm going to press F3 again and check the box. OK, so that's been applied. I'm then going to go to points selection. And under under edit vertices, we have target weld right here. And what that does is I can take two points and weld them together. And the first point, I'm going to click on right here inside. And then when I click on my second point, it's going to weld that point together. So we get this nice angle like what I wanted. 
it'll rotate over and do this point to that edge. Bam, there we go. Let's go over to the other side. Nice and easy. Just click on the inner point and go to the outer point. Voila. And being that we're going to do UVs for this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select one point here. Now all I did was deselect so it disengaged target weld so it's not selected anymore because this is a tool that's on so it's on right now so I'm going to turn it off just by clicking it. I'm going to select a point and I'm going to hit this uh, zoom extents all selected so what it does is it zooms into what you have selected. So I'm going to do that and it makes it nice and easy so that I can I can see the inside here and what I'm going to do to make this easier on me is I'm just going to target weld let's see I'm going to target weld these two points and I can hit L for left F3 to wireframe and then since I have it selected I can just center that up Got to hit P for perspective to go back. I can hit F3 so I can zoom out. And I'm going to get the other side of the carton now. So target weld these points. I'm going to select the point so it's selected. Hit F3. Uh, then I'm going to hit uh, L for left. And I'm going to line this up right there. Hit F3 again to go back. Uh, P on the keyboard for perspective. And there we have our juice carton. So we've got around five minutes left um, on this recording to be able to get in the UV mapping. So um, I now have uh, the basic model of it done. So what I'm going to do is with all the modes turned off, so if you have something selected like this, just click on it to make it disappear so nothing is selected. So that way we, we don't have any icons right here. Then I'm going to do the modifier stack, type in U so I can find unwrap UVW. Drop that down. I am then going to open the UV editor So we can see all our pieces. I can go to polygon mode and you see if I select a polygon, it's right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these and I'm going to go ahead and just select box mapping. Now this is not going to give us what we want right away, but it's a starting point. So there's no material applied, we just have the UV map right here. So it's always good practice so I'm just gonna close this out uh, I'm going to with unwrap UVW selected I'm just gonna say collapse to yes it collapses it and then I'm gonna do the material editor and so I've already got a standard material right here but what you would do is you would drag on a standard right and then you would pull out do a standard bitmap image and you're going to go to the shared drive and you're going to find your label from project for label design and it needs to be a JPEG so nobody here has a JPEG selected so you have to render out a JPEG in Photoshop first so let's find a different class that followed directions. So label design, here we go. We've got a couple people here. We can do large icons. Um,
and you could just select whatever and hit open and it'll open that up. So for now, I'm just going to use my example here. And all we do is assign material to selection and then make sure you say show in shaded view for it, right? This little button right here. That turns it on. And then we can close that out. We've got what we wanted on there. So now it's taking the whole map and just box mapping it over and over again on it. So now we're going to go back to unwrap UVW. There you go, open the UV editor. And we're going to change this from checkered pattern to map 16, which was uh, this juice label done by Alex Shawless. And then we can see our, our juice label here. So what I'm going to do is go to polygon mode and I'm going to select these polygons right here and I'm going to do planar projection and then turn that off and I'm going to click and hold the scale and I'm going to go to scale by squeezing. So I'm going to squeeze it in here about where I think it's at and then move it over. Do that again. Click and hold, select the other one, and pull it in. Voila. I click that off, I've got one side. Done. So I'm then I'm going to click the other side, open the editor back up. sizes and then squeeze it in and line it up now obviously I don't have it lined up exactly the way I want it I'm just doing this really quickly so I can get everything uh, the other thing that would be easy, actually easier to do is if I just select all of these and move them out of the way, that'd make it a lot easier to see. So I could reselect these and move it up. Rotate back around. I could, I could maximize this. And there's, there's that side, right? So this is to the right of the label. So I'm going to look for this one here. Go ahead. Now, when I, when I move this, uh, this piece here is actually um, having some issues because it's connected to other stuff here. So essentially what I could do Just select these pieces here, and I could just planar map them, and it puts them together. Which is very helpful. So then I can go back to my scale here. I have to turn off the projection planar, and I can. Scale it, get the move tool, and move it over. So we're we're kind of getting there. At least we we're getting it lined up. The the text is not backwards or anything. We don't need to flip the UVs or anything. But we would continue to line this up correctly and scale it and do the same thing for the other side. So when you have a piece like this that it's connected, and if I try to move it, it's, 